All right, so we're gonna take on Grastia Path here. Failed it the first time because I got caught off guard. I and I messed up. I made a goof. <laughs> but uh, the setup you're gonna want to go for is just you want to just focus on pure damage. Pure, pure damage. There is nothing here that is going to um, be weak to anything except for one enemy, which is just going to be the dog, which is Dark Star from Rufus. So you want to have an Omni Strike. Bring leather gloves if you're using Tifa. Whoever you're using, you absolutely want to make sure that you're maximizing the um, the amount of damage you're doing, right? So damage is going to be the main key here. Some single target healing can be helpful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just focus on, I have, I have an X here. She's already got an X there, right? So I'm probably going to need to grab something else like a circle. There we go. So we'll take a circle there. So that'll work out. So you're going to really want to uh, attack down because the very first guy you're going to fight is a, um, astral giant, right? So you really don't need elements in this one. So you just want to focus on damage again, like I've said. So any, the more you can dish out, the better. I got wind here on cloud. I don't actually need it. Um, so I can honestly focus on on just every single every single like thing I need, right? So I can do ruin right here. That's fine. Gives me a bunch of physical attack. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. Big physical attack. This water, which I previously had on, I'm, I don't need that, right? So having some extra defense would help. Or if I can find something that's gonna give me more attack in some some fashion, right? But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Probably not. Yeah, because I'm not using some of the moves that I had on here earlier. So it's no big deal. Um, if I want more physical defense, which probably would be quite helpful, I'd recommend bringing some. So I'm going to throw on Torn Wings here instead of the uh, the other move, which because I'm not using anything as far as damage goes, as far as uh, water goes. And then Black Whiskers here, that's a huge jump in damage. So we're going to go and bring that. All right, so Black Whiskers there was a really big bump. So we'll get bring that in. And then for Aerith, I think Aerith is already good across the board. She doesn't really need too much else. Um, everything she has, I will be covered with. Uh, again, you just want to focus on damage. Bring some poisons, because there's like two guys in here that poison you. You're going to want to have that. So, it's really not, it's not that bad. It's just don't get caught off guard, especially at the end. Um, if you want to bring a, a barrier, that's not terrible either, but it's not necessary. Um, you know, if you have, say, if you have a good barrier or something like that, sure, go ahead and bring it. It might be useful. Um, but other than that, there's not too much here, so I'll show you guys what's necessary. So you can check it out. Here's all the enemies. Like I said, none of them are weak to, weak to any element except Dark Star. That's it. Um, so you're just going to want to focus on these things. Most of them are going to go down pretty quick if you have any of the good non-elemental weapons. But and, there, and there's plenty of them that deal good damage. So, But outside of that, uh, let's kind of get to this and get it over. Get, get through this guy. Yeah, because then first up, you're going to be fighting the Astral Giant. So don't even try to look for a random enemy to fight. You're not going to find any because there aren't. So first up, it's Astral Giant. You're going to want to grab Tifa, and you're going to want to start debuffing this guy um, because you're going to not... You don't want to take a ton of damage. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. So you just want to get those Omni Strikes pop pumping ASAP. In fact, actually go for the Night Bloom if you can first. You'll get a little bit extra damage out of the, out of the Omni Strike. There we go. So that's what we want to do right there. You can bring a single target here if you want as well. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But not not completely necessary though. So see how my damage way less there? I don't take I didn't get I didn't get slapped like I did the first time. Much easier to deal with them this time around. So we're just gonna pump, pump out the damage. Pump it up. So every time he's gonna hit you with those big moves, go ahead and defend. Nothing wrong with doing that. Wait till that buff goes away. We're gonna debuff him again. Here we go. And there's another debuff. There's this big, big punch. Okay, and now he's now he's doing the inspirit. He's gonna hit with a grand sword. So you wanna try, you wanna make sure you get rid of all those buffs he's got going. Because that is gonna that's gonna eat you alive. And you wanna avoid that. You you don't wanna be eaten alive. I don't I don't recommend it usually. There we go. Just get a little bit extra limit there with the, the Ruin Blow. Perfect. And then Aerith will go and heal me. And we're back on the offensive. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do another Omni Strike. Get that, get that attack down. See, yeah, you just that's why you really want these you want these attack drops. They're gonna help out a ton in the long run. You really want to be focusing on those. Hey, get that big damage up. And then all the de these debuffs are going away, so we want to get them back on. Alright. Kind of nasty. But at this point, we can actually just take him out if we need to, right? Just focus on damage and just, and just take him out. Go ahead and defend there. Now we're just going to pop him with a hit, and then we're good to go. We're done. Good night. There we are. So we could have used a limit, but I want to save the limit for the next fight. That way we can take the enemy out ASAP. So that's kind of what my focus was there. So it's good. this is going to be a tough fight regardless, unless you have really, really big non-elemental damage. Um, so don't expect to get crazy high high scores there. Um, if I had used the limit, it might have been higher, but I didn't really feel the need to use it. So uh, we will definitely want to focus on physical attack. Poison resist is nice, but there's only two enemies that poison you, and they don't poison you a ton. So I recommend if you do have your limits up, get to the next fight ASAP. That's going to help you out a good chunk. Because if you're able to, I, I might have been able to do it there, but if you're able to avoid these guys, that's a good, good thing I'd highly recommend doing. Because that could help out a ton. And we want to get, we want to get Aerith's limit break, or not limit, yeah, limit break here if I can. That way I just get some extra healing, right? So go ahead and pop it, it's fine, you're going to build it up again. There it is. And we really want to get rid of this middle guy as soon as we can. I'm going to build up my, my stance back up because it is kind of low. There we go. And we're back in it. Making sure I'm at full health. Okay, that guy's dead, so that's really good. And then after this, after this fight, we're really going to want to use a tent. It's going to, it's going to help us out a lot. This guy. Heal up. Okay. Actually, we probably don't need to use a tent quite yet. Even though Aerith's low, the next fight's not terrible to where I feel like we're going to need to. Yeah, so this is... I would recommend... Who's probably going to do the most damage out of all these guys? Um, Behemoth's really not too bad. Um, I would say, honestly, go to the top if, of any of them. He's going to be probably the most annoying of, of all the guys. So this guy right here, because he's going to have the poisons. He's going to do some damage. Pretty, pretty annoying fight for the most part. So um, I am at max health, so I think I'll be okay. I don't need to worry about uh, about losing to this guy. He's not terribly hard, so. But we want to focus on getting this Night Bloom up right away. Actually, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Focus on getting rid of the poison, and then the next one. Oh, I was already in attack mode. Yeah, we need to get to our max level here. Our max stance. That's going to help us do a lot more damage. There we go. Got a little heal there. All right, now we're going to go and pop our limits. Maximize our damage here because this guy will be able to take him out very very quickly once uh, once he's down see So now we just focus on damaging him and then he'll just he'll just kind of melt So just hit him hit him twice with these moves and he's basically dead There we go. See didn't even get to bring his little guys out His little guys don't don't let him bring his little guys out only big guys allowed here Oh, so that worked out well. That was a really fast clear, so I don't think we have too many worries there. 
All right, so now this guy, I would recommend it if you're going to the physical team, um, you probably want to go, you know, get either physical defense down or magic defense down, but I'm going to go ahead and physical because I, that's the team I'm built with is all physical units, except for Aerith, but Aerith's more of a support. So. All right, so now we can pop a supplement if I need to here on Aerith just to heal, help her up a little bit, all right? Because we don't need too much. We'll do that, and then we'll go ahead and go over here. And we're going to take on Rufus first. Actually, I'm sorry, the Behemoth. The Behemoth's quite easy. So you want to take on the Behemoth and then actually go through him on the next fight. So. Because while Rufus is annoying, he's not terribly he's not terribly bad. So we want to get we want to focus on getting his attack down first and foremost. Because the faster we get his attack down, the easier it's going to be to survive everything he does to us, right? So watch for the big heave. That's the big move that you're going to want to watch out for, which is coming right here. So I'm just going to stay in defense mode while he does that. It's just safer. Want to get his attack down further. Oh, I didn't hit it, apparently. Okay, that should be good. He's gonna hit with a body slam. Definitely need to drop that attack. And you wanna you just wanna hang out with Aerith, make sure you're healing as soon as he hits with this move. There you go. And then go back into an offensive mode and just pummel him. So let's get that let's get that armor down again. All right. So if, if we get a limit here, it's actually not a bad thing. So we we want to make sure that we are actually using big uh, big damaging moves, because even though I know he counters magic, um, you know we don't we don't need to worry too much here. So they should be able to just kill. They'll likely recognize that. Yeah. So he's really not too bad. Once you get to that phase, just some big damage on him and he's cooked. Go. So we got a nice 60k, and that's too, not too bad there. All right, so we definitely want to take, um, because the the way this is, definitely take the physical defense. I highly recommend it. You're gonna want that. That's really important, right? So I would say right now, go ahead if you're at this point, a, a tent wouldn't hurt you here, um, because. It, you're going to need some extra health, especially with the guys that are coming up. Um, you might as well just go ahead and take out Rufus, right? So Rufus isn't too bad either. Just focus down the dog. Take him out first, right? Just like always. Might even be able to one-shot him here with this move. Almost. So we'll go ahead and just pop a limit break just to take him out. That'll be more than enough. Dead. Okay. Got the extra damage there. Or extra limit, I mean. Ooh, fatigue on him is not nice. That's kind of rude, actually. So if we can, lower his damage here. There you go. Now he's got all these debuffs on. There you go. So now his damage is kind of kind of poopy, right? Not not so great. Okay, we want to hit him with that ruin. There we go. And now he's gonna he's just gonna be cooked at this point. Not gonna do too much to us here. We want to control cloud. This way we can get rid of that. Make sure he's not uh, wasting anything on that fatigue. There we go. These up in smokes are kind of annoying. So at this point, if we can, we want to try to get uh, get some big damage here. We're gonna need to defend, probably. Okay, or not? Okay, perfect. This worked out really well. Yeah, that's. We just have to do that. It's just how it is. All right? Not a huge deal. Better off focusing on that damage here. Have 
One more hit. Very soon, he's dead. There we go. So that's the only, one of the only times you actually need to have a magic option to take him out. But I usually just prefer to go for the damage. The damage he does on the counter is really not that crazy. So I don't worry about it too much. Better off uh, getting that higher the higher score, faster, clear. So again, we're going to take that physical defense up here. Really, really good. 60%. That's going to be giant, especially on that final fight that you're going to need. So we're going to want to heal up here very soon. Because this fight coming up, there's going to be a little enemy fight up here, which is a major pain. <laughs> so if even if you want to use a limit here, that's not necessarily a bad idea just to get rid of these guys. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just focus on this guy here to try to take him out ASAP. Because this is, this is going to be a long fight otherwise. Okay, you want to make sure you defend against these Arogas and all the other little stupid-ass annoying moves he's going to do. Otherwise, you're going to take some huge damage. We don't want that. We got to get rid of this guy over here on the side ASAP. He's he's the big he's the big issue, right? This this Tripopolis. Tripopolis is definitely the worst one. He's the main offender. These other ones, Twin Brain, whatever, right? They're not a big deal. See how he just gets cooked? Not too bad. All right. Because we're going to end up running into another set. No, I'm sorry, not this set. We're going to have to deal with two more of those guys against the dragon uh, boss up here. So you will get an elixir here. Uh, Mega elixir. You don't have to use it. You definitely don't need to. Um, as long as you're dealing some good damage, you're going to be good. You could use a tent if you want. It's definitely helpful. The main thing I would say is just prep for... Uh, you want some extra damage if you can. And then also... Um, you know, make sure you're ready for the poison that's going to be, you're going to be hit with. So, um, I guess supplements wouldn't hurt too much here. So if you want to, you only get three supplements in this anyway. So if you want to go ahead and use those, that's fine. It's not, that's probably a good idea. So you, you really just want to make sure if you can, after you get rid of the two dudes on the side, start lowering the damage after the poison, uh, poison portion of the fight. Um, you really want to get rid of, uh, yeah, you really want to get rid of this guy's, uh, there we go, got that. You really want to get rid of the, um, the poison por portions. So that poison is going to tear you apart if you're not ready. So that's going to, that's going to need to go ASAP. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and use this healing wind just to get up, get up. I'm ready to go on that. All right, so main person we need to heal is focus on ourselves. Tifa has a heal. And we got a heal there. Perfect. Watch out for that dragon stomp. Make sure you want to get in defense mode for a lot of these things. And then we're going to want to Omni Strike here because he's going to start hitting me pretty hard. All right, so it's going to be kind of nasty if I don't have a defense down option. So anytime you see him going for these bites, make sure you get in that defense mode. Otherwise, you're going to be taking a lot of extra damage you don't want to take. That's how I ended up uh, dying the first time is I wasn't paying attention. I took more damage than I needed, needed to take. So that right there did big damage, right? I don't want that. We don't we don't want that. No big damage. Big damage is not our friend. No, well not not right now. <laughs> Perfect. Got a nice crit. Now he's going in for a barrier, so these ones you have to destroy, right? You don't have an option. Crushing bite. Make sure you go defensive for that, just to be safe. Go back in attack mode. Get rid of these. This is why you'd have to bring Ruin and X with you. If you don't, you're going to be cooked. And then after this, it's pretty much home free, right? We're pretty much good to go after this point. So just get these debuffs on him, and then we're in there. We'll just pop everybody's limit at the same time, and then we'll be done. Actually, let's just pop the limit now, because I'm actually not going to get that limit. <laughs> I'm not going to get Aerith. I was trying to get maximum damage, just because you get a higher score, so... Unfortunately, was not able to. But anyway, that should be good enough for an S+. That should clear it for us. Yeah, so 60. Again, 60 is what you want to aim for. So usually about 300k is the, the optimal. 300k plus. But that very first fight is really difficult. 
to, to finish quickly, so. You'd have to have some pretty, pretty strong neutral damage, and you, like I said, you probably need, would have needed to use to the limit break as well. That would help. And there it is. S plus Grastia path very hard. Well, that'll clear everything. So we got all that done on day one. That's a nice little, nice little win right there. Got all those taken care of and done with. So just to reiterate on the team for this one, um, you want to make sure that you are bringing primarily non-elemental weapons. It's just going to make your life easier because ice, fire, and lightning potency all get a decrease. So you don't want to focus on that. Uh, you're going to want to have poison up because there's three, uh, two guys that poison you. And so you're just going to want to be careful on that. Um, and then just really just big damage, especially if you have it on ruins, because elements really aren't going to do you any good here. So just focus on big damage. Um, the only time I would recommend using an element is if you have like strong water. So if you have like a really good uh, maritime sword, that's okay. If you don't have a really strong Zidane sword, that'll work out. Um, anything for ground and then anything for wind as well. So if you have that, like a good motor drive, that can take a place for your main damage dealer weapon. Um, but the main thing is you're going to need something at least... Non-elemental for that very, very first fight. That's going to be the biggest challenge for most people is going to be that very first fight. So that's the one you want to have. You want to have basically, you have to have some kind of attack down uh, just to be on the safe side to get a good score and cover that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide and uh, it helps you uh, complete the fight. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.